Lake Atitlan is a volcanic lake located in Guatemala. It was formed caused by a supervolcanic eruption 84,000 years ago. It's known as one of the most beautiful lakes in the world with its turquoise waters and volcanic views. The lake is surrounded by several different villages where Mayan culture is prevalent. Something crazy about this place is that more than 22 different languages are spoken here at the different villages. The most popular towns for tourists to stay at are San Juan, San Marcos, Panachel and San Pedro. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Yesterday we arrived to our second destination in Guatemala, which is Lake Atitlan. This is a very famous place to visit and we're staying in a town called San Pedro, but our plan is to visit several towns here. We've just woken up and we are on our way to have some breakfast. We've come to the cutest little breakfast place. I got my mango smoothie and still waiting for our foods. Oh, there it comes. <laughs> So we ended up staying at the town of San Pedro. It's one of the more touristic towns, but despite that I found it to be a very charming, nice and calm town filled with lots of great restaurants to visit and beautiful views. It was also very easy to get here with a direct transport from Antigua. came to this little Japanese style restaurant for lunch. It has the most beautiful view overlooking the lake.
I realized that I forgot to film from our hostel, but we stayed at this simple and affordable little place owned by a local family. It was nothing super special, but they did have this nice little rooftop. Good morning! For breakfast today we came to a restaurant that we accidentally passed by yesterday and we thought it looked really nice. So we came here today and I'm currently having the biggest dilemma on trying to choose what to order. I'm 50-50 between an avocado toast or banana pancakes. I don't know, they both sound really really good. But they also did have really good looking pastries. So if I would get avocado toast I could maybe get the pastry. But then if I would get the banana pancakes I wouldn't need the pastry. I don't know. now arrived to San Juan and the first thing that we're gonna check out is actually a bee farm. So we just visited that bee farm and did a tour there but if I'm completely honest we're a little bit disappointed. The tour lasted like five minutes then we got to taste things for five minutes and then we got to hear like a 10 minute sales speech on all the products they sell. Felt a bit like a ripoff because it felt like we paid them to sell us stuff if that makes sense. And I've seen some photos of people doing bee tours here at Lake Atitlan where they have like proper bee suits on and they get to see like thousands of bees. We saw like five <laughs> in really, really tiny hives. It was not really what I was expecting to be honest. of San Juan was very colorful and beautiful, although we did find it to be much more busy compared to San Pedro. a bit of cinnamon. feeling a little bit hungry but because we're going for dinner like relatively soon I didn't want to eat anything big but I stumbled upon this little local bakery that sold things really cheap so I snatched myself this little chocolate muffin so let's do a little taste test mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
it's good but maybe a little bit dry in my taste so i hope this video hasn't been like boring so far because to be honest at the moment i'm having a little bit of like travel tiredness which i guess makes sense after five months of traveling i'm feeling a bit of a dip to be honest and i feel like i'm very low in energy and stuff and because of that we haven't been doing super much the past few days it's mostly just been about walking and eating and enjoying some beautiful views but i sometimes feel a little bit like pressure from like when i'm filming a video i feel like i need to constantly do something really interesting like i need to go on a tour i need to go to museums i need to do this that and that obviously i want to do those things even if it wouldn't be for the videos but with the videos i feel like i really have to do something really special everywhere i go so yeah i hope you guys don't mind that so far this video has been a little bit more i guess relaxed and not filled with a million things and activities I do know there will be super much to do in this region. I feel like a lot of those things are very like, they require a lot of energy, such as like hiking up a volcano or going scuba diving or like all fun things. But at the moment, I just feel like those kind of activities are a little bit too much for me. I need to a little bit recharge and then I'll have the energy again to be super active again. Tonight, we're still gonna go out for dinner with this guy that we met in our hostel. I'm gonna finish my muffin, go back to our hostel, which is, I'm literally on the street of our hostel. It's right there then i'll catch up with you guys again once it's dinner time so see you in a bit are about to jump on a boat and head to San Marcos. <coughs> we are now on the little boat and for a ticket back and forth for two people from San Pedro to San Marcos was 60 quetzales in total. So not very much. So basically 15 quetzales one way for one person. So it's uh, not very expensive at all. And yeah, it's a little boat and what I have heard, the ride can be a bit bumpy, so let's see how it is. today we came to this vegetarian restaurant and I think I'm gonna go for the eggs Florentine so it's like poached eggs with hollandaise sauce and stuff that's one of my favorite breakfast items so I'm gonna go for that and it's a really nice little restaurant in like a garden I must say all the restaurants we've been to so far have been all really nice just finished our breakfast and the food was good. My only critique would be that my eggs Florentine were maybe a little bit dry. There could have definitely been more of the hollandaise sauce because there was almost none and that's like my favorite part of the dish but it was still good. Now we just went to a little kiosk and we bought some water and I bought some weird looking snack I'll try soon and now we are gonna try and find the entrance to the nature reserve. decided to spend the day at this beautiful nature reserve located in San Marcos. It's a great spot where to walk around and enjoy some breathtaking views over the lake and volcanoes and it's also the perfect spot where to come if you want to swim in the lake. It 
if you're in for some adrenaline, there's a jump you can do here that's 12 meters high. I think I'm gonna skip it for this time. I have jumped 12 meters before though, that was in the Philippines, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not really feeling like it at the moment. There are spots where people are jumping from that are much lower and you can also just go swimming without having to jump. So yeah, I think I wanna relax for a little bit, try that weird snack that I bought and then go for a dip or maybe jump from the lower parts, let's see. gonna try the snack that I bought. It looks different from what I thought. I thought it would just be like these fluffy balls. It's like a cookie with fluffy little ball things on top. So weird. It's like a cookie with very sweet marshmallows on top. That's what it tastes like. Hmm, maybe a bit too sweet for my taste. And I'm chilling here, watching people jump. came to another spot now it's a bit further away from where everyone's jumping from and it's much calmer and easier to like if you just want to swim and what makes this place really nice is that it is a lake so the water is like sweet it's not salty it feels really nice to swim in really soft yeah it's really pleasant i'm kind of regretting the fact that i decided to go for a new experimental snack instead of buying a guaranteed yummy snack no, it's confirmed. This is not very good. <laughs> this is what the packaging looks like. Oh, it feels so good. size on my head. 